Nin explains the rules of 10-pin bowling. The object of the game is to knock down more pins than your opponents. 10-pin bowling is the most popular form of bowling worldwide and is played on a surface known as a lane. The lanes are 60 feet long and 42 inches wide, and if you bowl the ball wide of the lane, they land in the gutters and will be carried past the pins. The pins themselves are 15 inches high and are arranged in a triangle formation. Each pin is designated a number. A bowler uses a large heavy ball and has up to a 15 foot approach to the foul line, which is the start of the lane. A game is divided into 10 frames. Each frame represents one turn for the bowler. In a turn, the player is allowed to roll the ball up to two times. This means that you have two chances to knock down all 10 pins. If you fail to knock down all 10 pins with your two balls, this is known as an open frame, and this scores the exact number of pins that you knock down. If you do knock down all 10 pins with two balls, this is known as a spare, and this scores 10 plus the number of pins knocked down with the next ball. For example, if you score a spare and then with the next ball score 9, the spare frame is 10 plus 9, which is 19. And if you knock down all 10 pins with your first ball, this is known as a strike. This scores 10 plus the number of pins that you knock down with your next two balls. For example, if you score a strike and then follow it up with another two strikes, the first frame is scored as 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30 points. Players generally alternate turns between frames, and once both bowlers have finished 10 frames each, the person with the highest score wins. Simple, right? So why do they bowl the ball funny? The whole idea is to maximize your chance of getting strikes by hitting a certain section of the pins. This section is known as the pocket, and this scientifically gives you the best chance of getting a strike. Therefore, bowlers will try and curl or hook the ball into the pocket. The lanes have oil on them that gets dry as you get closer to the pins. So players take advantage of that by throwing the ball at an angle with spin in order to get the ball to hook into the pocket. They will use the triangular markers on the lanes to line up the ball at an angle so that the ball hooks where they want it to. That's the bare basics of 10-pin bowling, but there's a few other things that you need to know before playing or watching a game. For example, format. The most common format is a single match, where one person plays against another person. But there are also competitions for teams of two, three, or four players to bowl against another team. There are separate contests for men and women, or a mixture of both. Oil pattern. Each lane is oiled differently, and depending on the pattern, this dictates whether the ball will hook or not. This is known as the oil pattern and it might be helpful to check the all pattern of the lane you're bowling on. In professional tournaments such as the PBA, they will add blue dye to the oil so that players and spectators can see where the oil is and where it's running dry. Foul. A player must not step or slide across the foul line when bowling a ball. Doing so will count as a ball but will not score. The pins that are knocked down are replaced. Also, any pins that are knocked down by a ball in the gutter or by bouncing off the rear cushion, don't count either. Split. This is where the first ball of a frame results in pins away from each other still standing. To knock both pins down with only one ball left is difficult. This is known as a split. Difficult, but not impossible. Perfect game. In a game of bowling, the maximum you can score is 300 points. This is done by rolling 12 strikes in a row. Why 12 strikes instead of 10? Because if the bowler gets a strike in the last frame, the score of that frame cannot be recorded before rolling twice more. This is known as a perfect game or a 300, and is the equivalent of a 147 maximum break in snooker and a 9 dart finish in darts. As you can tell, it's not easy. If you have found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy 10-pin bowling.